Chef Des coming at you from my kitchen again, corporate chef of BC Egg. Today we're going to make an incredible dish called creamy polenta, spinach and heirloom tomatoes and we're going to top it with a beautiful poached BC Egg. Wait until you see this presentation and just wait until you try this dish. The first thing we're going to do is make the polenta. This is really something simple to make and little funny story, when I was a kid and I heard you could add water to cornmeal and cook it and eat it, I thought that was the wildest thing ever and so I tried it and it was terrible, I hated it. But what I didn't understand then when I was a kid, you need to add more than just water and that's what we're going to do today. We're going to add one cup of water and some salt. We're going to bring that to a boil. Now we're going to add some milk, four cups of milk, that's going to give it a really nice creaminess to it. And then we're going to bring that to a simmer, so still keep it on that high heat. All right, once we're simmering, we're going to take our cornmeal, one cup, and we're just going to stir it in gradually. I'm actually using a whisk just to make sure that we're not going to get any lumps. Once it's stirred in, we can lower the heat to medium low, and then we just go back and stir that frequently. At this point, you can switch to a spoon, and we just want to wait for that cornmeal to start absorbing all the liquid that's in that pot. And then at the end, for more flavor, we're going to finish it off with a little bit of Parmigiano cheese and some butter. So already it's starting to swell and absorb the liquid. And you know it's done when it becomes nice and thick. So we'll just let that sit there on medium low heat while we prepare the rest of the dish. Then we're gonna take a large pan and preheat that over medium heat. Don't forget to stir your polenta. All right, once your pan is preheated, we're gonna take a little bit of olive oil, one clove of garlic that's been sliced, and a pinch of red pepper flakes. And we're just going to cook that briefly until the garlic becomes soft, just until it just starts to sizzle in the pan. We want to make sure we don't burn the garlic. You can see the garlic's just starting to sizzle now. So we're going to add a whole bunch of fresh spinach. This is why we're using a large pan. But don't worry, that will wilt down. We also have two cups of chopped heirloom tomatoes, a little bit more salt, and pepper. And you're just going to cook this down until the spinach has wilted and the tomatoes have cooked down a little bit. Oh, look at all those beautiful colors. And then we're just gonna take that off the heat while we prepare our poached egg. This recipe makes four portions. So if you're serving the whole recipe at once, you're gonna to wanna to poach four eggs. And there's great instructions on this recipe on how to do that. Plus we have a video at the Eggs 101 tab at bcegg.com. I'm just gonna do one portion for myself right now and we're gonna save the rest for dinner tonight. So I'm gonna show you my technique for doing one egg. Always remember, every single large BC egg has 14 key nutrients, all nine essential amino acids, over six grams of the highest quality protein you can get. And one large egg, it's only 80 calories. So for doing one poached egg, we're gonna crack it into a little portion cup. That way I can make sure that the yolk is not broken. I grab a whisk, a small pot of water, and I bring that water to a full boil. I also put a little bit of white vinegar in there as well, and that helps to keep all the proteins together so you don't get all these little wispy bits in the water. After you reach a full boil, turn it down to low so it's at a simmer. Then we're gonna create a vortex. By using a whisk and spinning that water around to create a vortex in the water, and then you can simply just put that egg right in the center. And having that vortex will keep all the proteins of the white together. It'll spin around a little bit like that and you just let it sit. How much you like your poached egg done, that'll be up to you. So three minutes from a cold egg in the simmering water will give you a very soft yolk, up to four minutes for a more firm yolk. While we're waiting for that poached egg, let me show you how to finish the polenta. So some Parmigiano cheese and a couple tablespoons of butter. And we just stir it in until it's fully mixed and that butter melts. And that's the consistency you want, nice and beautiful and thick like that. If your polenta gets a little bit too thick, you can always add a little bit more milk or water to it just to thin it out. And here's how we're gonna finish it. So we're gonna take some of that polenta, and if you're doing all four, you'd put the polenta in four bowls, top it with some of those heirloom tomatoes and spinach, and then we're gonna get that poached egg out. So I just use a slotted spoon, and I just blot it on paper towel, just so it doesn't become too wet. And you can touch the yolk to see the doneness that you want as well. And then we just gently put it on top. Don't forget to season your BC egg. A little salt, pepper. And that's our creamy polenta with spinach and heirloom tomatoes with a lovely poached BC egg on top. Let's give this a try. 
Wow, that is so good. I love the creamy cheesiness of that polenta with a little bit of a runny yolk and the strong taste of the heirloom tomatoes and spinach just gives this dish such a great balance. I know you're gonna love it. Make sure you're checking out the website at bcegg.com for this recipe and a whole bunch of great others, plus egg tips and tricks. And this is Chef Dez signing out. Where are you getting your protein from?